hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today we have three canadian care homes hiring overseas caregivers nurses and other occupations one of these care homes offers sponsorship to overseas applicants you only need to submit your cv to two of these care homes without a job application Please, I want to use this opportunity to say that a lot of people have been reaching out to me that they are chatting with me on Telegram. Guys, it is not me. I'm not even on Telegram. People have been creating fake accounts in my name on all social media platforms, extorting money from people. I don't offer jobs to people, please. I only share information on where and how you can apply for these jobs. You can only reach out to me via the email address showing on the screen or you can book a consultation for a guide and you will see me face to face on the call. We also have a comprehensive guide handled by a company called CareerSelf and I don't have any immigration group. All my links are always on all my platforms. Please guys, be properly guided. And if this is your first time seeing my smiling face, Hello, my name is Ami. My husband and I make videos on immigration and studying abroad. You may want to join our community by subscribing. It's free. Please give this video a like, share with friends, and subscribe for more videos. Let's get started. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Ami. And if you are a caregiver or if you are in the health sector, we've actually been speaking about a new opportunity that the government of Canada has rolled out, which is a pathway that allows you as a caregiver to become a PR once you step into Canada under this program. So the, the program has been approved by the government. It is now an immigration pathway. However, the application itself has not started yet. Okay, But one of the key requirements of that program is that you would need to get a full-time job offer in Canada and if you come in as a result of that job offer then you can change your status to that of a permanent resident okay so what we are currently doing is to give you guys uh, different opportunities for you to find caregiving or you know healthcare provider job in Canada all right and that is also the focus of this video so we have like three different platforms where you can find healthcare provider jobs in Canada. In fact, two out of the three platforms that we'll be looking at, you won't actually need to apply for any job. So it will be that agency or that organization linking you up with people or with families who need the services of a caregiver, okay? So it's just for you to provide them with your platform and then they will carry on with the rest and they provide a lot of support especially to international skilled workers who are looking for a caregiving job in Canada. So I will show you those three platforms and then we'll review some of the information there. I'll also show you how you can apply to each of them. And by the way, if you need like a personalized guide to help prepare yourself for this permanent residency program that we spoke about, we, have, we do have a consultation service that you can subscribe to or that you can register for and then you'll be able to get on a call with us and one-on-one -on -one we can review your profile we can guide you into the different things that you would need to do in order to be prepared for when the program is eventually rolled out okay so we are starting with the first one which is face personnel services so this is an organization within canada that actually hires caregivers both inside Canada and caregivers that are currently outside of Canada all right and without wasting so much time if you go to their homepage which you are seeing here and you click on this drop down under the services you would see that for workers they have two options here they have opportunities for caregivers in Canada and they also have opportunities for caregivers outside of Canada okay so they actually help caregivers outside of Canada to find job now it now depends on the strength of your profile it depends on you know how much of experience and training you have 
it depends on how competitive your profile is compared to the other applicants that are applying you know to them for these opportunities okay so apart from just the job they also offer immigration services to support you in your move to Canada as well. So from their homepage, you can actually see a lot of different information regarding what they do and the kind of services that they provide to people. For example, here they are saying that, you know, their service include job placement that are full-time or part-time in nature. Caregivers either live in the home of the employer or caregivers can live outside of the employer's home. For overseas sponsorship of caregivers, our team travels to Asia regularly to meet candidates in order to select those who truly stand out among their peers. So basically what they are saying is that their services is not just for people within Canada. They also offer sponsorship and, you know, job opportunities and immigration support to caregivers who are currently outside of Canada. If you are interested in exploring the opportunities that they have, it's very simple if you go to this apply now, okay, they have an apply now bar at the top of the home page and you go to the worker section, then you can select application caregivers outside of Canada. When you do that, it will open this application form for you. So it's a very simple form where you are going to put in your personal information. You will also be required to upload a photo of yourself and they have described how the photo should look like. You also provide your email address, your, your phone number, more details about you and your family, your criminal record, if you have ever been arrested, and then you click on next to go to the next step. So it's like a five stage process. Okay, so you go from step one to two to three to four up to five, after which you'll be able to complete and submit your application. So that is all that is required for you to do with face personnel. So you are not actually the one applying for the jobs. You are only submitting your profile to them. They will consider your profile. And if your profile is competitive, then they will move on to the next stage of the application with you. So let's move on to the second one, which is the International Nannies uh, Platform. Okay. So what they do is that they specialize in providing nanny services and general caregiver services within Canada. We can read up a lot of information about what they do, what they offer, which includes nanny placement, caregiver placement, and au pair placement as well. You can also see here that they have different outfits. So they have the nannies now, which is like a, a different sector of their services. They have the au pair solutions, which is also another different sector. And of course, for those who are you know outside of Canada, they have the Apex Immigration Canada Limited, which provides immigration services for people who may need help with such services. So if you are an international skilled worker, I think it will also be good for you to understand that they offer immigration related services apart from just, you know, job placement in caregiving. OK, so if you are interested in exploring the opportunities they have they, at the top of their homepage, they have a bar for job seekers. OK, so if you click on that. It brings you to their job seeker application form, which you can see right here. You just need to provide details such as your name, both first and last name, your nationality, your phone number, your email, your date of birth, your address, the current country where you are. And then you will be able to also select the position you are applying for. Okay, either it's for a nanny or a caregiver for the elderly or pair position or a caregiver for the disabled. You also select the type of job, if it's a live-in, live-out, full-time, or a part-time. You can also state here the hours you are available for work, and you will also need to provide details of your previous employment, okay? So the employer's name, the date, the position, and of course the phone number, in case they need to check information about your previous role. OK, now they request for more information about you. They want to know if you drive, how long you have been driving and why should a family hire you? So this should be like um, a cover letter. So it's an opportunity for you to really sell yourself to this company and of course to your prospective employer as well. Okay. Finally, below the job application form, you will also need to upload your resume and your cover letter. Don't forget again 
we do have a video where we discussed the Canadian CV template. You can take a look at that video just to be sure that your CV is in the Canadian format. Okay. So once you have that ready, you can attach them as a single PDF document. So your cover letter, you know, on the first page and then your CV on the second and maybe on the third page as well. Okay. And then once you are done, just click on submit application. So let's move on to the third opportunity, which is South Bridge Care Home. What they do is that they provide services in the area of independent living, long-term care or retirement. Okay. And of course, that is also an opportunity for you as a caregiver who is looking for different opportunities in Canada. Okay. You can read up more information about their services. If you're interested, especially in the job opportunities they have from their homepage. So if you just scroll below, you can see the career opportunities that they currently have. So they have opportunities and they are always looking for nurses, for support workers and activity aids. Okay. And if you look at the list of jobs that are here, you would actually see that it's not even only the caregiving job. They also have like support roles that are related with healthcare management like account payable analysts and other support roles that people can apply for okay so they have a lot of opportunities here activity aid in caregiving attending physician continuous quality restorative manager cook um, they have opportunities for dietary aid as well for director of care for environmental service manager so overall you would find different opportunities both directly related with caregiving or in other administrative or financial roles that support caregiving okay i've opened just two of the jobs for you here so this first one is for an activation aid and you can read up more information about the ideal candidate for example what you'll be responsible to do so basically for this role they require you to have a post-secondary diploma in recreation and leisure therapeutic recreation kinesiology or other related field of course have similar training and experience in restorative care you need to possess good communication skills both written and verbal and you need to have you know long-term care or retirement experience or retirement care experience okay you can read up more information about what your job responsibilities will be and below the job there is actually a button for you to submit your application by the way we do have a video where we spoke about the canadian cv format so make sure you use that cv format in your application to canadian employers so this is the second opportunity for a personal care provider you can read up more information about the job. The job is based in English language. You can see the duties here. You can see the requirement of the role, which actually includes the completion of a personal support worker program. If you have you know, studied outside of Canada, you will also need to provide an educational credential evaluation report. Okay. You need at least 12 months of supervised work experience and then there are other requirements that you will also need to meet like good english language skills having a passion and heart for providing quality care for this role for you to apply for this role they have provided an email address here that you can send your resumes to if you want to be accepted or if you want to be considered for any of these roles okay and you can you know check out the other opportunities there are actually quite a lot of them that you can review on this South Bridge Care Homes website. So overall guys, the focus here is for you to start preparing yourself for the caregiver permanent residency pathway. However, this requires you to have a job offer. So we are presenting you here with different opportunities for which you can explore to get full-time job offers in Canada. Don't forget this is like the major requirement for this, you know, a PR program but aside from that don't also forget that you would need to show that you have the required language proficiency level you would need to write one of those standardized English or French tests that Canada immigration requires if you also studied outside of Canada you would need to go through the process of evaluating your credential so that you can show that it has a Canadian equivalency okay so guys these three platforms are you know great opportunities that you can explore we have added the relevant links 
to the video description. If you also need a one-on-one -on -one consultation, drop us an email and we'll share the link for you to book that one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you so much guys for watching. Have a lovely day.